Hey, my name's Chris and this is my 600 horsepower ST204 Celica. I came into ownership of this car after my original silver one got T-boned, so I had that one from 15 to 21, got written off, got paid out from insurance, so this is the one I bought as a replacement. Kept the other one as a parts car, so it just made sense to keep the same car. I think I got this one in maybe 20, 2017, 2018, something like that. Yeah, it was on my P plate, so I couldn't really do a great deal with it. Put wheels, coilovers, changed the headlights and tail lights to the, the uh, kooky ones, sort of just put the exhaust on it, headers, you know, P plate stuff. Drove around like that for a while, enjoyed the car. It was probably the most reliable it's ever been when you don't touch it, so it was real good. The, uh, the taste for power started, I put a set of cams in it and um, then I spun the bottom end, all bearings, all roasted because I guess I think the EGR valve on it sort of blocked up because I had no idea what all that was back then. Started eating, eating all the oil, no oil in it, went out on the highway with some friends, had some fun, got home, it was knocking. So we just replaced the uh, bottom end bearings and it was good to go for a while longer. Sort of started doing a bit of research, realised there was like turbo models because I, I had absolutely no idea back then. So I um, talked to some friends and found myself a uh, 3S GTE and um, over probably the process of like six months or so I refreshed it and put a couple little bolt-ons on it. It's like a high flow turbo and bigger injectors, front mount, all that stuff. Got it tuned and it made 320 horsepower. So drove around like that for a little bit, still on my P's. Just enjoyed it like that until fuel pressure regulator in it sort of stopped regulating fuel and we just ran, ran it with 20 pound and no fuel for a while. So again, one night out on the highway, basically all the pistons were melted, but um, piston three was, all the ring lands were cracked. So the rebuild began, bought all the 4Gs for it and set a 274 GSC cams, new fuel system for E85 and sort of kept the uh, high flow turbo with the stock manifold at that point. Put it all back together, still with the stock gearbox. Got it tuned and it made four, 427 horsepower. That was, that was good fun, that was real good fun. And then we're heading off to see uh, Spider-Man at the movies, I remember. And then big first to second and all the teeth off second gear. I could just feel them just rip off in the box. So I'm still when I saw the movie, still enjoyed it. And then I figured I got a gearbox that can handle more power. So we changed the whole hot side. So we got a um, G30 770 with six boost manifold. So six boost were real good. They let me drop the car off to them locally here. And they made a manifold on the car to suit because they sort of didn't really have a an off-the-shelf top mount option for this car or for this motor at all. So they're real good with that, Re appreciate that. And then um, all the fab work done here with the boys at SRS. And then back over to Maddock Tuning for the, for the page ups and it reeled off originally 500 and, 503 I think it made. And then we were bottlenecked by the uh, ignition system so we still have the, we're still running the stock dizzy at that point. So we ran that until it just just gave up basically and it was like perfect timing because PRP had just made a coil kit too. So bought the coil kit, it went on like the next fortnight, back over to the dyno and made five, 540 something. Alternator died halfway through tuning it, so back off, back home, new alternator, back again, and then it finally made 601 on 29 pound. So that's currently where the car's sitting now. Yeah, that's basically a rundown on the car, where it's gotten to and from. Just enjoy it with friends and have a good time. And uh, yeah, go get chopped and chop some cunts at roll racing, be good fun.